We're going to start with taxi uh, 10 minutes and then uh, Imran 10 minutes and then we'll open the rest of the evening to the floor. So ladies and gentlemen, can we welcome taxi again? All right. Um, also, taking the time to answer one of uh, those things, and not not that I just want to get the the claps that you got. Okay. Uh, yes, critical thinking, and I I'm still torn. We we are not certain, honest. I'm not sure if we should teach religion, the religious stories, along with fairy tales, and have the kids mix up. Okay. I really do not know that one. As much as I do not know whether taking away the death penalty is a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. But it's something that I think it's worth us uh, going forward, discussing and coming out with a, a, a decision that we're all are happy with. And um, a little bit uh, of rebuttal of, of certitude again, is that, uh, again, if we adopt science, uh, we, we're adopting something that's changing. Yes, it seems like uh, we, we've locked onto science and that that's the only thing we believe. But it's not that it's something that's uh, continuously renewing itself and it's something that, uh, that changes. Okay, uh, and our argument is of course uh, against the other side, which is if it's a holy book, and you know holy books that people interpret it that way, and you say no, you got to look at the context of of a certain thing in the past, and it was relating to that. Okay, and in those days it was okay to use that, but you know what? The other things in the religious texts are forever. Okay, you should not kill, you should not do this, you should not do that. So when do you use this forever, and when do you use that occasionally? Okay, and I think that's, that's usually the, the thing that we have issues with uh, when you already said that, that this is the book. And the thing is that we, you will never be able to pin any religious person to say whatever the part of their religious book is wrong. You will never be able to pin that down. Okay? And for this, this is sort of a certitude thing that we, we, we think that the, the book's not completely right. Yeah. Okay? And uh, we, we, we think that that's the way that uh, we, we we manage uh, our day-to-day -day living, that uh, we don't have a, a book, but we still have society, we still have education that brings us morality and, and stuff like that. Uh, and I, I'm really tied uh, on that question of, uh, of, of uh, education. Something happened to my slides. All right, I'm just gonna have a read it this way, okay. Um, I wanna quote this, uh, Ricky Gervais, The Office, UK. Comedian, not a philosopher, okay. One of my favorite comedians. Uh, uh, atheism is as much a religion as not playing golf is a hobby. <laughs> we know this one, don't we? Uh, okay. I do it all the time, meaning I, I don't play golf all the time. Uh, and I do it very well. Humanists are atheists. Just now, uh, before I ended, I said that humanists are atheists. Okay, this is going to cause uh, quite a bit of marketing problems uh, with the uh, humanist society, <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. It's the problem is not uh, with the humanist society or the the word atheism. It's the connotation uh, that is associated with uh, atheism. Okay, and we're we're still a lot of people are still trying to split atoms, uh, explicit, implicit. Okay, whether you reject or you just are lack of. Um, but generally, it's a big group of people that um, some one commented that, that you should not associate us uh, with one big group of non-religious. The recent study that came out uh, to say that 18.5% don't associate themselves with any religion. Are they all atheists? No. Okay. If they're all atheists, and atheism is a, uh, is a religion, I'm the foremost religious uh, leader in Singapore. Okay. Even the Archbishop has 7% of the population okay, as his followers. And you guys don't believe uh, in a, a spiritual leader in uh, the Sunni sense. Yeah, correct? There's, there's no such... The Mufti is sort of... Uh, how many percent are you guys? In Singapore? Yeah. 14. I am 18.5. Yeah. <laughs> okay. well, now that's not the, that's not the way to, to really count things. Uh, okay. So that's, that's something that I need to, to point out, okay? And atheism, in, in a lot of ways, uh, atheism is an evolution. We evolved from atheism 
to, to agnostic, to free thinking, to eventually uh, humanist, and then maybe there's still some room to, to, to uh, evolve uh, again. But the thing is this, we're still part of the atheist family, which means that uh, it doesn't define us, it's just a blank page. It doesn't have religion, and uh, you're an atheist, and you kind of lump everything together. In fact, we think that the 18.5%, a lot of these people are subject to conversion. Okay? In fact, a lot of them are what the, the US of today would call swing voters. Okay? They, they will go either ways, but they just don't want to say what they are, or they, they just haven't thought about it. Okay? And our evolution uh, from atheism uh, to humanism, uh, you know what, once you challenge me too much as a humanist, okay, and there are people out there who will say that, oh, look at this guy, he's a new president, he's saying all these things, he's dragging the, the, the society through the mud. Uh, what do I say to that? I become an atheist. I become an, a militant atheist. I begin to make a lot of math statements, okay, possibly. Okay? Now I have to temper that down quite a bit. So this is very similar to on the other side, uh, the dynamics. Okay? If you're moderate, the Muslim, moderate Christians, if I test you a little bit, you go to the extreme and the fundamental, fundamentalist. Yes, the extremist, where you will, some, some people, okay, not you will, some people will burn down abortion clinics, okay? And some people will, uh, will become Daesh, the IS, ISIL, I, ISIS, whatever you want to call it, okay? They will look at me and look at my name, and they will say, SI, you're the NTIS, okay? And begin to find and pick the, all these things uh, that uh, they can pick uh, to, to segregate the uh, different people. Now, as a militant atheist, I'll say this, and maybe this answers, uh, Right. Uh, Brian's a question a little bit is, is this as a militant atheist the most militant of atheists uh, will not have a reason to kill someone if there is morality okay? there is no book to tell us to do that we don't have uh, abortion clinics uh, we, we, we don't have babies to kill quotas of babies to kill uh, every day okay? we, we don't have uh, tons of orgies to go to every month okay? we have moralities Okay? And this is brought to true society. And, and you can push us either ways, and we will continue to call ourselves atheists uh, and humanists anyway, because uh, it really doesn't ma matter to us. It's just a state of being. And humanist is a positive life stand that allows us uh, to address some of the issues with society. Okay? And some of these issues are, are, dire, are in dire need of, uh, of, of being answered. Now, a 17-year-old shoots his mouth off, cries as uh, power-hungry. Fuck whoever a deity, huh? uh, a prophet, and whatever name of God that doesn't exist. All these are all claims, and it's done by a 17-year-old. How much are you, are you going to discount that? You're going to discount a lot. And besides, he doesn't bring evidence or anything to support that, his, his claims. Now, on the other hand, what we're really, really worried about 58-year-old, highest-level religious leader in Singapore coming out to call Madonna concert immoral and saying that societal secular trend is to blame. Okay? And again, it's sort of hinting that, hey, these people without religion, or they're dragging other people to become less and less religious. Okay? These people are to blame. Okay? And we, we don't think that that's a, the right way to go. And our, his statements are going to be uh, listened to more than a 17-year-old. Of course it is. Yeah? So this is social responsibility. Now, in order to, to have this, uh, we, we need respect for each other, okay? I respect uh, people's uh, right to have uh, their beliefs, but it doesn't mean that I'll have to respect the belief uh, directly, okay? Uh, you have uh, the pasta strainer person on, <laughs> okay? Now his belief, of course, is uh, the flying speaking monster, and uh, that, that is mocking, okay? Now, if I want to respect his religion, I, I don't have to respect it, that, that there is a fine spaghetti monster. So that, that is the very intricate uh, little thing uh, that uh, we continue to try to play at uh, this uh, balance of, uh, of, of what we believe and what uh, we are lack of belief. Um, how to work together. We work with, the, the Humanist Society works uh, with uh, the People's Association lately, okay, uh, starting a very good thing. And this is what I call the afraid that uh, we might fall into uh, a, a case of uh, social disharmony because of race or religion, 
and it's a the program called C2E, which is a community emergency engagement. Okay, and and Farida has also said this. Uh, um, uh, Professor Hoon had said that is to engage each other. Okay, if you don't talk, though, there's no even sluice gate to get the, all these uh, issues of resolve and, and pressures of relief. Okay, because if you continue every time to sweep all these uh, dirt under the carpet under the guise of a uh, religious tolerance. Uh, that mold under the, the carpet is going to be so high uh, that uh, one day uh, when it erupts, uh, it's going to stink out the whole Singapore. Okay? And I think that's something that we have to avoid doing. Now this is, I think, the first session uh, where it's a grounds up, uh, non-governmental, people-to-people uh, -people dialogue. And I, I'm very happy that you pushed for this. And I'm very happy that I accepted that. Um, and I think I'll end this here. I have a lot of more points, but my time is up. Thank you. Thank you very much.